Today we are going to show how you can deploy easily Kubernetes clusters in uh, Open Nebula. In particular, first of all, we are going to show the an Open Nebula multi-cloud environment. So Open Nebula uh, allow you to expand your on-premise resources with the public cloud resources like uh, AWS, bare metal uh, servers. Then. We are going to show you uh, the few steps that you need in order to deploy a Kubernetes cluster in Open Nebula. First of all, we are going to download this uh, virtual appliance that is the one Kubernetes engine that is available from our public marketplace. And uh, once we download this, we can instantiate and deploy Kubernetes clusters on AWS. Once the Kubernetes cluster is up and running, we are going just to deploy an Nginx uh, application based on a Docker image and expose the application to the ingress controller that is provided by the virtual uh, appliance. So I'm going to do a demo uh, very soon. Uh, this will just give you an overview of uh, what is the demo. So first of all, we are going to show this uh, multi-cloud environment where, uh, you, uh, where we have already deployed an AWS cluster uh, based on bare metal resources provided by AWS. And then we are going to show how you can import on the cluster the one uh, Kubernetes engine appliance. And then we are going to use uh, kubectl to interact, uh, to connect to the Kubernetes clusters, use the API in order to deploy an Nginx application and expose the application. Okay, so let's start with the demo. As you can see, there is already a cluster that has been deployed on AWS. We have done this by using the one provision tool where you can uh, provision uh, uh, edge clusters on public cloud. Here I'm showing to you what is uh, the different components of the cluster, data store networks and the host that compose the cluster. Uh, regarding the networks, we have also defined a private network that will be used when we are going to instantiate a Kubernetes cluster. So first of all, we have to download the 1KA virtual appliance. We are going to download the community edition and we are going to import on the image a data store of the AWS Edge cluster. Once we download it, all the images will be put in the image data store and the different templates will be created for the virtual machine and for the OneFlow service. As you can see here, we can see the three, the virtual machine templates and the service templates that has uh, four roles the VNF, the master, the storage, and the worker. So we can instantiate the service template. So we can give a name for the service. We have to select the public network and the private network. Then we can give an IP for the control plane endpoint. This virtual IP that will be used to expose the API of Kubernetes and then the gateway IP that will be used to access uh, the internet from the different uh, uh, nodes. Once we instantiate the OneFlow, we start the deployment of uh, the uh, OneFlow service. It will start first with the uh, VNF role. And once this is running, it will deploy the other three components, the master, the worker, and the storage node. So this will take a few minutes in order to deploy and configure each, uh, each uh, role, the master, the worker, and the storage. So in a few minutes, you should get a Kubernetes cluster up and running. So if you see all the roles that are running and also the service is running, it means that everything is ready. And now you can connect by using the public IP of the VNF role. Uh, first of all, you have to copy from the master node uh, by using the public IP of the VNF. So you can copy this uh, cube config. And then you can use proxy com command in order to access the API by using uh, this forward uh, SSH. And um, then you can use the kubectl command and we can see that uh, 
the different nodes of the of the cluster. Now here I'm running, uh, I'm deploying an Nginx application based on the Docker image. And um, in this case, it, it takes some time because he has to pull the image and then he has to start uh, the container. Once the container is, uh, you see, running, we can uh, expose the container by using the ingress controller. So you have to write a YAML file that contains this, uh, the definition of the service and uh, you can define the ingress route to access the Nginx application. And then we can use kubectl to apply uh, and to expose the Nginx uh, application. We just have to use the BNF public IP. We can connect to it and here the Nginx application is uh, running. Okay, thanks for watching this thing. See you next time.